came back, man, and like all all my brain cells, man, are just messed up. Like I got a part-time job at like some place that sprays things, man. They told me it was for like the swine flu, and I was like, dude, that sounds good. Give me a plate of that. And they're like, no, we didn't say swine pug flu. We said swine flu. I said pug flu, man. I thought you were talking about chop suey suey, man. And then they were just like, dude, you're a retard. And I was like, dude, that's not why they make fun of those people. And they were just like, you're fired. And I was like, well, fuck you too then, man. So then I'm back here, man, with this mask. But, you know, today, man, <clears throat> Forgot what I was gonna say, man. Whoa. Anyway, today, man, I'm hosting today's Worth You Universe, man. And I, <sighs> my God, man, if that's flying saucer or something, man, that looks like good eats, man. Anyway, <sighs> all right. Today, I'm gonna be recovering the Lost Classic, man. Virtual console, man. It's called like Wonder Boy 3, like the Dragon's Trap, man. I, at first, I remember playing this on the Turbo Graphics 16. It was like called the Dragon's Curse. I don't know, man, what this is funky shit's going about, man. But this is like the Sega Master System version of it, so we gotta like grab ourselves into like a space continuum, man. We gotta put that helmet on again and play this console which I have no clue how the hell to play this console it's called a Wii Wii you heard me white it's called a Wii Wii yes what the f mm, what are these Japs thinking man what are these Japs thinking every single time I see these consoles the Sony PlayStation 3 it's like, it sounds like a sex toy, man. Like a sleek sex toy. Man, that's why I'm still in the 70s, man. Because I'm gonna fight the man somehow, man. Even though back in the day, I don't know how you would say you would fight the man back in the day, man. Because you were buying their products for retail price, man. So, again, it's just like, if you're gonna do it now, you should do it then, do it now, then do it then, now, and now, and then, man. I shouldn't have broken the angry video game nerd's basement. This okay, man, like, how do you start this thing? Oh. Oh, man, it's a controller? I thought you were going to tell me to use the damn Wiimote, man. What, what, what a jerk you are. Alright, so, let's see here. Um, what the hell is this? Months on her try, man. Why would I want to try in the first place, man? Shit. Okay. Is it this? No, that's BAP Casino, man. Alright, maybe it's here. Internet channel. Hmm. I wonder if I can find some internet porn on there after, man. Let's see. Uh, Adventure Island, the beginning, man. That looks, that looks like it's promising right there. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh. Tobacco reference. Oh man, this is my kind of game, man. Wow. Okay, let's press this button here, man. Alright, man, so... Alright, man, so... What is all this stuff? Apparently this game allows you to have all kinds of interesting spells and powers that you can take out enemies with, man. That looks pretty trippy. As well as it makes you set up as a lizard man, apparently. Oh, you have your arm equipment stuff, which you can equip. You got your keys that you need to enter root doors, stones... You know, AP, CP, oh, that isn't what I think that is. If it is, I think this game's going to jail, man. DP, man, that's that's my kind of stuff right there. Double penetration. But. Whoa, these controls are really loose, man. That's kind of, that's sucky. Whoa, man.
So far, these controls are really loose. Kind of disappointing, man. I feel like I'm ask riding around these escapades, man. There's a volcano, man. That ain't cool. Oh, man. The cutting can kill you, apparently. Okay, so far, the graphics on this game is really good, man. For a Sega Master System game, almost close to Sega Genesis par. Oh! Ah, man, that ain't cool! Ah! Overall, man, I mean, these graphics are good, man. This controls the a little bit, a little bit stiff and gotcha, you bastard. You can collect power-ups and various other things as well by the enemy standard, which is kind of cool, man. That means you don't have to work so hard. Just like you'd paint on a house or something. This game makes you go from point A to point B like so. And collect hidden little power-ups and nooks and crannies, man. That was pretty cool. You also collect cash, which you use for the shop. Overall, man, this isn't quite as amazing as the... Graphic 16 version, what I played so far, man, but it's actually not that bad at all. It's priced at like 500 points, apparently. Oh shit, Paratus are known as a Graphic 16, man. That version obviously is more superior to its hardware, but this game is still good in its respects. The compo- the sound and music on this is pretty good. As well, man, I'm kind of kicking and back on it right now. I just wish so they could have improved on the responsiveness of the controls, man. Like, I feel like I'm controlling a damn tank, man. The wreck of Peace Rally or something. The enemies as well do have some variety so far. I mean, you got green crabs and red crabs and volcanoes that are trying to kill you, man. And that squint like a Chinese man when they die, man, that's that's pretty trippy. I'm not gonna lie. Also has this feature where you can also have a obvious synthesizer on when you're playing the game, which is also very cool, man. Even though it quite frankly isn't needed for this game. Also what I have recognized as well is this game is true to the port. And it does have that password feature that everybody and their grandmother hates. The uh, TurboGrafx-16 as well had that if he didn't have the power base, which is really disappointing. And because a humongous nuisance for all those who don't like to write passwords down. What the hell is going on, man? Four twenty, man. That's my kind of score, man. Overall, a few things I do not like about this game is that, well, I don't think a lot of people would understand that what this game's about at first and would misjudge it for being a bad game, and that's misleading in a gigantic amount. Another thing too is that all the buttons for the classic pro controller that this game is in, can be used with, a lot of people will not misinterpret the graphics. I'm sorry, misinterpret this game for being a bad game. And again, that'd be really disappointing to take a lot away from the game. So, in closing, you have to give this game a serious chance before you even play it, man. So, overall, man. I give this game one testicle point after another. No, not really. I give this game two thumbs up because it's just flat out straightforward and fun. And you can die like that. And that's pretty cool. This game does is very lenient and forgiving as well, man. Just like all closing outs of closing outs. You can also push continue. That of course allows you to have an awesome aspect to keep on playing with most of your equipment. Just hope that you still got the key. Like there. Go back on the password system as well. You can also save with a password. So overall, that's basically the game right there in a humongous nutshell. Straightforward, offers plenty of variety when it comes to characters. 
due to the fact that you could swap out to get to certain points in the game, you have to switch. So it sort of shares a Metroid style kind of expl explorations aspect. So other than that, the game is fantastic. Definitely pick it up today for 500 Microsoft points. This is the gaming hippie saying, I'm going to go hide underneath a rock again for another five months and you guys will, will forget, most likely forget about me. So take it easy.